What's up, everybody? It is me, Mr. Henrik Fan, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is another episode of the NASCAR Diecast Unboxing Series, episode 38. So today's episode, we're going to be unboxing 14 cars, so let's go ahead and show, show off which ones they are. So the first one I got is the 2018 Cleb Boyer Hall of Fans. The second car I got is the 2018 Chase Elliott Mountain Dew Baja Blast. The third car is the 2018 William Byron Liberty University United States Salutes car. The fourth car I got is the 2018 Alex Bowman Nationwide Salutes. The fifth car I got is the 2018 Jimmy Johnson Low Salutes. The sixth car I got is the 2018 Co- Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah, the sixth car I got is the 2018 Kyle Larson DC Solar. Ouch. The seventh car I got is the 2018 Austin Dillon Dow Salutes. The eighth car I got is the 2018 Joey Logano Talladega Race Version. The ninth car I got is the 2018 Brad Keselowski Reese Slash Draw Type. The tenth car I got is the 2018 Justin Allgaier Brandt. The eleventh car I got is the 1998 Jeff Gordon DuPont Darlington race version. The twelfth car I got is the two th uh, yeah, the 2018, sorry about that, Alex Bowman Nationwide Children's Hospital. The thirteenth car I got is the 2018 Kyle Larson Credit One Bank Chicago race version. And the last car I got is the 2018 Ryan Blaney, Roval 400, raced win. Or the Bank of America Roval 400. Sorry about that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get all of these unboxed. Alright, I just unboxed the first car, which is the 2018 Club Boyer Ford Hall of Fans. So here, well actually before we show off the car, here's the magnet I got. Alright, here's the car. All right. I don't know why, but this car, I like it. But, and it actually, okay, you know what? I won't give it too much crap. This kind of is the first one he ran out of the two. But I don't know why, but it reminds me of a similarity to the Stuart Haas fan club car. I don't know if it's just me. But anyways, I actually like the color scheme of it. Not his best ever. But, I actually don't mind it. I mean, excuse me. The blue, the darker blue, and then the black with the white. I mean, I, I, think it's, I think it's a pretty cool car. Not the one I would recommend the most, but it's definitely a cool one to have as a collector's item. And I think this car was also an exclusive in Wave 10, along with some cars from the last unboxing. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the second car. Alright, I just unboxed the second car, which is the 2018 Chase Elliott Mountain Dew Baja Blast. So here's the car. Alright. I'm not gonna lie. This isn't the best car he ran either, but, and I'm not really a big turquoise kind of, or 
No, it's turquoise or teal. But I'm not. The point is, I'm not a big fan of that type of collection. Let me see if I. Can, there we go. Right there. But anyways, this car is it too bad? I mean, this car would look a lot worse. I mean, it's kind of a little plain, but I mean, if they did more to this, I'd probably not like it, to be honest. So I guess the plainness makes it look better than if they did more. I might be the only one who thinks that. But the plainness to it actually makes it look better than if they try to do more to it. Maybe I'm the only one, but again, not his best paint scheme, but certainly not his worst. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the third car. Alright, I just unboxed the third car, which is the 2018 William Byron Liberty University Salutes. So, oh, actually, before I show off the car, here's the magnet I got. Alright, here's the car. Alright, if I'm going to be personally honest, this is probably the worst one out of the three. Even though I do like the red, white, and blue on the lettering there and on the hood, there is just nothing going on with this car. When you, when you compare it to the regular one, other than that, there is absolutely no difference. None. And I, I don't like it. I mean don't like that there's nothing else to it I feel like there should have been like more of a design on the sides kinda like this year's cause at least this year's they made something somewhat different it's not a big difference but they at least tried to do something and this car they didn't even do really anything other than the lettering what is uh... okay yeah, like, that's pretty much it. And it's kind of a little disappointing. But I definitely got it, because I had the other two salutes, and I don't have Elliot yet. But I had to get it just to complete the set, but this is easily the worst one out of the four. Because, I mean, there's really nothing to it. Other than the coloring there and there, like... It's kind of a little bit lazy. Even though I like the touch to it, it's still considered lazy in my book. So, I don't 100% recommend this one. I kind of recommend this year's more. But I more so got because just to complete this set. If you get what I mean by that. But Oh, and it is an exclusive too. To add on top to it. Which makes it a little bit better. Not so much better, though. But, let's go ahead and go off to the next Hendrix Salutes car. Alright, I just unboxed the fourth car, which is the 2018 Alex Bowman Nationwide Salutes. But before I show off the car, here is the magnet I got. Alright, here's the car. All right. All right. I'm gonna be honest again. It's def it's definitely a step up compared to the Liberty car, but again, I don't know why. But this actually, no, I'm not gonna consider this one like lazy because at least they did something on the sides and the number. Uh, I think the number was. White, so I guess they did that. I mean, at least they tried something, is apparently my point here. I don't know if it's the better. I don't. I. It's definitely better, but I don't know if I want to still say it's really good. But I do think this is definitely a big step up compared to the William Byron car, because that car is just lazy as all get out. I'm sorry, Hendrick, but. I don't know what's been going on with the designs as of late the last two years. It's been kind of crappy. Not all of them, but like a high percent 
percentage of them have been kind of thumbs down as of late, but maybe it's just me. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the last Hendrick Salute car in the fifth car of the video. Alright, I just unboxed the fifth car, which is the Jimmy Johnson 2018 Low Salutes. But before I show off the car, here's the, the magnet I got. Alright, here's the car. Now this is the car that takes a huge, really, really good direction to a salute car. It's not plain. They added, and they really did try something here, and I actually really like it. I mean, the white and then like the red stripes with the blue stars. Like, I really, really dig this paint scheme. I really do. Is it the best one ever? No. But is it necessarily a good one at least? Yes. Now this one I could see being the probably best or second best at lowest for Hendrick. I don't know. I haven't... I don't know if this is better than Chase Elliott or I don't know if Chase is better than... J I don't know. But I do know for a fact this car is the by far the best one out of the three. Because at least... They did something different. And unlike their primary car, I, I'm not even going to low key lie. I, I've never, I don't have the car, for, the primary car to the Lowe's car, but I don't even know if I want to get it because this car is just so much better. Like the primary Lowe's that year was just, I think it's the worst Lowe's car I think I've ever seen. Like it is the most plain hideous car I think I've ever seen. But this one is actually good. And this this makes me wish this ran more than the actual regular Lowe's car. But that's what I think. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the sixth car. Alright, I just unboxed the sixth car is the 2018 Kyle Larson DC Solar. So here's the car. Alright. I know I'm not going to be I'm going to not talk about the car so much in this part, but my thoughts on the paint scheme? Good paint scheme. It's a good paint scheme. I like the simpleness to it. It is kind of a little plain, but it's not too plain for my taste. I think there's a lot more plain <clears throat> Jimmy Johnson's primary 2018. Alright, anyways, as I was saying, I know I pretty much showed what I think about the situation, and I, I want to clarify this. I feel bad for Ross Chastain. I seriously feel bad for Kyle Larson, Ross, and Chip, and NASCAR. But the dude who did it deserves to go to jail. You seriously messed up. Alright? And you definitely deserve to get raided. There you go. But another thing. I don't get why people, personally to me, I don't get why people hate the FBI jokes. I think they're personally hilarious. Because, I mean, especially in the DC Solar situation, they got raided. Fact. And what do we do to a fact? We kind of add a bit of twist to it. I mean, I even liked the meme before it got to the DC Solar situation. And you know what? The DC Solar situation made it even funnier. Because that's how much of a pathetic joke the company is. I mean, I, I just, I just can't, I don't know. I mean, I just don't necessarily why people find this offensive. I would agree with it being offensive if someone got hurt or even killed. But no one did either or. No one got killed or even hurt. So what is the problem with the, 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 
the joke. I, I just, I would like everyone to comment below your thoughts on the DC Solar situation. And do you find the joke funny? But, yeah, that is personally what I think. I think, I feel bad for everyone that got affected by DC Solar. But the joke is not towards them. That's another thing. Everyone thinks that the joke, doing the FBI joke, is towards Chip Ganassi, towards Ross Chastain, towards... No. No, it's not towards them. It's towards the Jeff Krosnoff moron who got himself into that situation and he got in jail for it. The joke is on that dude. Not Ross, not Chip, not NASCAR. Not them. It's towards DC Solar and Jeff Krosnoff for being the morons they are. If they would have done their taxes, boom, they want to be in this situation, right? But the biggest what if is what if they never got raided? That's the question we'll never ever find out. I'm, Because I'm, again, I feel bad for Ross and for Larson and for Chip and NASCAR, but what if they never got raided? We'll never find out, sadly. All right, let's go ahead and go off to the seventh car. All right, I just a box of the seventh car, which is the 2018 Austin Dillon Dow Salutes. But before I show off the car, here's the magnet I got. All right, here's the car. Alright, I'm gonna, I, I dig this paint scheme, I do, and I never had the die cast of this car, whether it was ran in 2015, I want to say, or whether it was ran last year, I never had the die cast of it, and then until it was revealed in Wave 1, I definitely, it wasn't the number one car I wanted in that way, but it was definitely a car I wanted, to say the least. And... You know, I finally got, I found it at Target along with a couple other cars in Wave 1. But, this is the one, I was like, yeah, you know what, I never had it. I don't mind the paint scheme. I, honestly, I kind of like it. I don't love it, but I kind of like it because it's just a little bit simple. I mean, the sides is the biggest difference here. This was never on the case of the 2015 car. Stars everywhere. And then the big white star. Like I, I think this car is pretty nice. It's not very nice, but it is pretty nice for what it is. It's not plain. It's not. It's. It's not plain. And then, well, not too plain. It's simple, and I. And it's got a cool touch to it. I, I like it. I personally do. So maybe it's just me again that likes this car. All right, let's go ahead and go off to the eighth car. All right, I just unboxed the eighth car, which is the 2018 Joey Logano Talladega Race version, the spring race. But before I show off the car, here's the magnet I got. Right there. All right. Here's the car. Alright, I gotta be personally honest. I gotta bring it back out. Why do we have this over a card? I think every race version diecast in the Authentics line should be a card. Because honestly, I think that is way cooler than a magnet. Now for the others, honestly, I don't even agree with a magnet. I think... Hold on, I got a rant. Let me get a random one out. Like, like, a plastic hood of the 2017 Ryan Newman Caterpillar. Like, I think that is cooler than a magnet. Like, a magnet, I mean, it's cool, but it's not, like, I don't feel like it's as good as the plastic hood. Or a raced version card. Like, those are the two things that should be on the, the Authentics diecast, and not necessarily this. But, again, that's just what I think. 2018 Talladega, I didn't really remember too much about this race. 
Oh, uh, man. I remember a friend of mine was at this race, but that's pretty much all I remember about it. But, uh, I will say one thing about this car. The confetti on this is absolutely fantastic. Whether you're a Legato fan or not, personally, I don't mind him. And personally, I think he does get a little bit overhated. Uh... I'm not a big fan of his, but, I mean, he's kind of getting a little overhated, but might be just me. But, the, this car is cool to have. Like, I love the race detail to this one. Probably, by far, like, one of the better ones Lionel's done as of late. Definitely a big thumbs up for me. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the ninth car. Alright, I just unboxed the ninth car, which is the 2018... Brad Keselowski Reese slash draw type. Alright, before we get to the car, here is the magnet I got. Now, I'm going to be personally honest, this one I approve of the most. Like, this is actually a cool magnet, in my opinion. Like, if magnets should be any way, that's how they should be, in my opinion. But, anyways, off to the car. Alright, my big issue with Penske is that they've also kind of fallen to the same roots as Hendrick when it comes down to their paint schemes. Very, 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 very lazy. But, I do like some of the color combinations on that particular kind of scheme. Like, like, alright. Let's bring back out the Joey Legato car. What is the difference? Other than the colors. What is the difference? Alright. Back to this car. I do like the color combination of the white and blue. But I wish the car was not so lazy. Like, this car would look so much better if it was not lazy, because I love the color scheme idea. It's just, it's lazy. But I do love this car in particular with the color scheme and the design. I think this one's probably the coolest car with this type of design. But, Penske, please don't be lazy. That's all I ask. Same with Hendrick. I mean, Hendrick's been lazy as a late, too. I might be the only one who thinks they have been, but, again, that's just what I think. But on this color scheme, I approve of this, so, thumbs up for me. And it is an exclusive from the Lionel Authentic, so, that makes it go higher on my scale, because I love the Authentics that are exclusives. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the 10th car. Alright, I just unboxed the 10th car, which is the 2018 Justin Allgaier Brandt. But before I show off the car, here is the hood I got. Yeah, I get to show one of these off again, finally. Because I haven't done it since the 2017 throwback video. Alright, here's the car. Okay, I might be the only one here who thinks this, but I think 2017's is better than 2018's and 2019's. I get that there's some type of, like, corn company, I think. I don't know what Brandt really is, but I just don't really... It's not their best car, but... I think it's kind of funny that there's corn on the front of the car. That's always pretty funny, in my opinion. But, not definitely their best car. I definitely like... Tw Honestly, I like the old 31 car. Like, that car was cool. When he drove for Turner Scott. But this car, I like it. It's kind of unique in a way. But it's definitely not its best. But I do like, again, it's an exclusive. So any car that's an exclusive, that's a 
either a decent to good car to a great car, you get a thumbs up for me. So, give more exclusives, Lionel, please, for the future sakes. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the 11th car. Alright, I just unboxed the 11th car, which is the 1998 Jeff Gordon Darlington Race version. So here's the car. To be honest, I really wish I found the Authentics version of this car, because I would have loved to see what the stats were for that 1998 Southern 500. Man, I mean, this car is just so nice. Like, it kind of has the Winston Noble number to it, like that, I think. I think that's the Winston Noble number. I think so. Um, if it's not, uh, my bad, but it kind of does look like it to me. So if that's the case, that makes it look super cool. Definitely one of my more favorites, and probably is my favorite for this episode. No. Probably not my favorite, but definitely number top three for sure. Because I mean, this like the this paint scheme on the old body with the possible Red Bull num Winston Noble number. Like, what is wrong about this car? Because I would love to know if there's anything. Oh, actually, there is one thing that would look even cooler on it. It's not necessarily Lionel's fault. But like, just like imagine, imagine, imagine if the tires were rubber tires. Do you know how cool this would be if they had the old rubber tires on this car? Like this car would be so like a must get. And honestly, like this was a must get for me. If I, however I had to get it, whether it was from the Lionel Authentics or whatever it was from the Cracker Barrel Wave. And I just love this car. Definite, definite recommend picking up this car. Because I really love it. And I would like to start getting more of like the Lionel Classic cars. I don't know about every single one of them. But, like, more of them, yes. I would love to get. Kind of like, one of them, for example, would be the Mark Martin one. Like, that one is cool. I would like to pick that one up. That's for sure. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and go off to the 12th car. Alright, I just unboxed the 12th car, which is the 2018 Alex Bowman Nationwide Children's Hospital. But before I show off the car... Here is the magnet I got. Alright, here's the car. Alright, man. I gave Hendrick a lot of crap for making their cards a little lazy. But this car, yeah, it's kind of plain, but this car doesn't really need to have a big, big change, like, like, go all out. I don't think Nationwide Children's Hospital has to have an all-out kind of car. It kind of could have a subtle car like this, and that's why I like it compared to some of the others, where there's actually some change. Personally, like Tyler Reddick's car from Mid Ohio this past weekend, I don't think I I don't not the biggest fan of this car because I don't know why, but some feels off about it. But this car, there's nothing off about it. It's just subtle, kind of like a it's it's a, it's a subtle car. That's the best word to describe this, and I, I like it. I definitely like it, and it is also another exclusive. So. It makes me like it even more, because the only way you can get it is an exclusive. So, yeah, definitely a thumbs up for that. And honestly, a thumbs up scheme overall, I mean, people can say it is lazy, because it sort of is. But, this scheme does not need to have an all-out type car. Like, 
Lowe's 2018, for example, was not really an excuse because it's a primary car. This car only ran for like one, maybe two races. And I have zero problems with that. Because, I mean, it's, it's a subtle car and it looks good on the track. And the die cast looks co cool. And, yeah, that's really what I think about it, to be completely honest with you. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the 13th car. Alright, just a box of 13th car, which is the 2018 Kyle Larson Credit One Bank sal Salutes a Ranch, Chicagoland, not Daytona. But before I show off the car, here's the hood I got. Alright. Here's the car. Alright, I'm going to be kind of honest. I don't know why they call this one a raced version. Because it's literally, I think, the clean car. Like, I don't see any damage. Any grass, no nothing on this car. Oh, actually... You can see a little bit of it, but I basically call this the clean car, and honestly, I have an issue with it, but I don't at the same time, because the clean one, the regular version had got canceled, but as well, it should be raced. It's a race version, so where's the damage? Where's the grass? Where's the dirt? Where's, where is that at? I, I don't see, other than down there... Where I don't see it. Where is it? I mean, on my side, it looks perfectly fine. But, again, maybe it's just me. But speaking of a what if, what if Larson was able to save it and he won that race? Man. Amazing finish, though. Not a Kyle Busch fan at all, but man, that was an awesome finish. I wish Larson could have gotten it done now, but, uh, yeah, he sadly didn't. Alright, let's go ahead and go off to the last car. Alright, I just unboxed the final car, which is the 2018 Ryan Blaney Pennzoil slash Menard slash the Bank of America Roval 400 race version. But before I show off the car, you know what else to say. There's the front, and if you want to pause again, there you go. Alright, so here's the car. Man, I'm going to be personally honest, I never, I was so shocked yet so happy that Ryan Blaney won this race. I thought it was going to be... I thought it was going to be... I personally thought it was going to be Jimmy Johnson who won this race. But he got... He did the right thing and slowed up because he, what he did was wrong. I'll give him crap for that. But I never believed it was going to be Ryan Blaney out of all people who won this race. I could not believe it. But at the same time, when I saw the finish, I was like, Yep, Larson's down from the playoffs. Oh well, off to next year. But then I saw something on Instagram and I was like, wait, what? Larson got in by one point, I think. Or it was a tiebreaker. I don't know what it was. It was either a one point or a tiebreaker. And I was I will I was kind of jumping up and down and shocking it shockingness, but yet happiness at the same time. Like I could not believe it. Larson was still in. Unfortunately, I think he got out the next round. But, I mean, it's still crazy that he got in by that one point. So, I mean, I might be the only one. Actually, nah, I think every Larson fan was probably like, oh my gosh, we got in. We got in. Our season's not over yet. Yet. But, yeah, like, that was cool. And it was cooler to see that Ryan Blaney won. I really wish he would be doing better this season. I wish he would get a win at a four-turn track just to show that he can actually race at the four-turn tracks, but he hasn't done it quite yet. Maybe Bristol might be it. 
But yeah, that is pretty much my reaction to that day. It was a it was a crazy day, that's for sure. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a